Flight. Question comes from where? London, UK. Question comes from London, UK. I read in a book about uh, called the women in Islam. And in the book, it was mentioned in the footnotes that there's a hadith that Bukhari, rahimahullah, said was Hassan. Does this mean that al-Bukhari quotes in his books or in his book hadiths which are not authentic or the highest level of authenticity, etc.? Jazakallah khayyim, very interesting question. Inshallah, very simple answer, but there has to be some detail. And that is, the sciences of hadith have for many years and still are, to this day, been misunderstood and misrepresented. The sciences of hadith is not something one plus one equals two. And Bukhari says something and that's the final statement. Or Arabani Rahimullah says something and that's it. The sciences of hadith is a very long and rich history. A very deep science and a detailed science. Okay? And just like anything else in Islam, there are different levels of people. There's a scholar of hadith and there are levels of scholars. There's a student of knowledge of hadith and there are levels of students of knowledge. And there's a layman Muslim. And there's levels of knowledge with regards to layman Muslims reading books. Oftentimes people, they translate a book and they themselves do not know anything about the topic. Or they translate a footnote and they don't have the necessary knowledge of the footnote. And it leads to confusion. Or oftentimes they'll misquote or mistranslate the footnote, etc. At the end of the day, just because Al-Bukhari, and this is in brief, just because Al-Bukhari says the hadith is Hassan or it said is authentic, it does not mean that the hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Imam al-Bukhari himself, he wrote several other books in which he did not keep the same rigid, stringent condition or standard of authenticity, such as Al-Adab al-Mufrad, or Raf al yadain or Juz al qiraa or Khalq al-Af'al al-Ibad, and other books that Bukhari wrote that are not of the same level of authenticity as his Jami' al-Sahih, his Jami' al-Sahih, meaning Sahih al-Bukhari, let alone Tariq al-Kabir, etc. That's first and foremost. Secondly is, uh, At-Tirmidhi rahimahullah often quotes Imam al-Bukhari in Tirmidhi. And Bukhari didn't collect the hadith. At-Tirmidhi may reject what Bukhari says in his book. So there may be a rule on a hadith from Imam al-Bukhari that is not found in any of the books of al-Bukhari. You understand this? Last but not least is what's meant by the word Hassan. Just because Albani or Ibn Hajar says Hassan or Iraqi or Dhahbi, it doesn't mean that's what Bukhari means or Tirmidhi means. Huh? So it has to be detailed. Lalo's best.